Okay, this is a video to help students do scientific notation in their TI-30X2S calculator. Okay, so first, entering numbers in scientific notation and standard values, where standard values just means regular numbers. So the world population is about 7.2 billion. As a regular number, that looks like this, a 7, a 2, and then 8 more zeros. In scientific notation, we write that as 7.2 times 10 to the 9th, because in scientific notation, we only want one digit in front of our decimal place. Okay, so how can a calculator help me with that? Well, first let me type the number in as a standard number. I'd have to carefully count out all my zeros, 7, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Then I might even have to check to make sure I have the right number. So to display that in scientific notation, I want to change to scientific notation setting. So if you hit your second button, and this button that says DRG has Sci slash Engineering above it, this FLO setting is for when you have it in regular standard notation. If you arrow over to scientific notation and hit equals or enter, it actually displays this value in scientific notation with times 10 to the ninth. The other nice thing about this is you don't have to start off knowing the scientific notation. You don't even have to start off typing in all those zeros. So the U.S. population is about 320 million. I know that million is times 10 to the 6 because a million is a 1 followed by 6 zeros. So you could kind of half use scientific notation here. You could say I have 320. Now to get the times 10 to the part in this calculator, we need to use this EE symbol that's above this inverse button. So you hit second, and then this key that's above the 7 button, and it displays an E on here, but that E is really short for times 10 to the 6th. I'm going to put the E standing for exponent. I just need to put the 6 in here and the calculator automatically puts that in correct scientific notation because correct scientific notation wouldn't be 320 times 10 to the 6th, it'd be 3.2 times 10 to the 8th. Let's say I wanted to know what the ratio of our world's population is to the U.S. population. In other words, how many times bigger is the world population than our population? Okay, I could type in all the zeros, but I could use scientific notation here. 7.2 times 10 to the 9th divided by 3.2 times 10 to the 8th. Now I could work that out without using the scientific notation uh, option by taking 7.2 divided by 3.2, and then the quotient rule would say to cancel out the 10s, subtracting 9 minus 8. The calculator will actually do this for me. I'd need to enter 7.2, hit my second button to get my E displayed there, and then I just enter the exponent 9 for times 10 to the 9th. Then I want to divide by 3.2, hit my second E button, times 10 to the 8th. And it tells me my answer is 2.25 times 10 to the 1. Well, that's just like saying 2.25 times 10. There's a ratio of 22.5 people in the world to one person in the U.S. Okay, let's practice using our scientific notation. They want us to take here 5.4 times 10 to the 5th times 7.8 times 10 to the 6th. So I'll enter 5.4, hit my second EE button, and say I have an exponent of 5, times 7.8, hit my second double E button, tell it I have an exponent of 6. Now there's a big difference between this EE button and this E to the X button. They're definitely not the same thing. So again, EE is short for times 10 to the 5th. 
and on your paper homework, you want to be writing times 10 to the 6. You don't want to be writing E or EE. -E. Okay, so that's very handy for this problem because if I would have done this by hand, 5.4 and 7.8 would have given me a value of 42 and I would have had to adjust my scientific notation. But the calculator actually gives me the value in scientific notation, 4.212 times 10 to the 12th. Now one thing the calculator does not do for us is it does not take into account significant digits. So significant digits are how many or how accurate our value was in the first place. Each of these have two significant figures. So actually our final answer should have no more than two significant figures. So we would really want to round this off to 4.2 times 10 to the 12th if we're thinking about significant figures. Okay, one more thing about scientific notation is you can have exponents that are negative. So if I work out this division problem, 1.2 times 10 to the third divided by 1.8 times 10 to the ninth. 9 is bigger than 3. If I subtracted these exponents, I would have a negative exponent, which I do. Again, there's really only two significant figures here, so I'm going to round this repeating 6 off to 6.7. And we have a negative exponent. So what does that negative exponent mean? Well, remember, this is the value in scientific notation. Let's look at this value in standard or regular notation. If I hit my second key and hit my science engineering button and go back to the FLO setting, it means that I am moving that decimal seven places to the left. In other words, a negative exponent means a small value that is less than one. So if you wanted your standard value not in scientific notation, again, you can switch back and forth with this key. To enter scientific notation, you use the second button to get this EE value for your times 10 to the 6 value. Okay, I hope you found this video on doing scientific notation helpful.